say. Gee, it looks just like Africa. That's a good one. What do you know about it? Never even been out of the state. Kid Creole and the Coconuts, New York's most stylish dance band, are stranded somewhere in the jungle. This is their story. Just to achieve miscegenation Don't offer me remuneration I don't believe in acclamation In the jungle, I never sleep with lights I'll take a heart of darkness, never pass Well, settle down In the jungle, I, I never, never cold, cold at night Don't need a book of matches Especially with eggs, that ain't my time I don't believe in propagation just to achieve cafe relation don't offer me emasculation i don't believe in deprivation in the jungle i never see the light i'll take a heart of darkness never come we'll sell down in the jungle i never call that night don't need a book of matches especially with days that ain't mine Gus Darnell, alias Kid Creole. Age 31, status married. Childhood, the Bronx, New York. Father, black, Dominican Republic. Mother, white, French Canadian. The whole idea of the coconuts and the band and Kid Creole, it's very much a creation, isn't it? It's like Hollywood, it goes back to your youth. Uh, I was weaned on the Humphrey Bogart movies and James Cagney and George Rapp, and John Garfield, my favorite. And uh, from there, I grew naturally into a love for the musicals. And uh, my influence from childhood on by Rodgers and Hammerstein's Sound of Music is still one of my, one of my favorite uh, musicals. And all of that, of course, comes out in, in the music and the style that I adapt in my creation. And uh, part of the, uh, the whole trip, the creation, you know, the movies such as one of my favorite films, the Mighty Joe Young with the early monster flicks and King Kong and the whole nightclub scene. And that had a lot to do with the creation of Kid Creole and the Coconuts because I wanted that one nightclub scene in Mighty Joe Young with the lions behind the glass panes and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, the monkey lifting up the piano and, and uh, Terry Moore playing Beautiful Dream on the piano. That one nightclub scene lived with me so many years 
that I knew when I started to put together this Kid Creole thing, I wanted something with that kind of a feel, that kind of a punch. Hollywood's version of the jungle. Well, your, your, your coconuts are supposed to be three fey rays, yes. aren't they, in the hands <laughs> right. of the monster? I, I loved that, that idea, the juxtaposition of the innocent blonde and the corrupt, dangerous jungle. See? And I, I knew that if I put myself center stage, uh, a man caught between two worlds, white and black, and, uh, and if I was flanked by a madman on vibes, who looked Hispanic and looked otherworldly because he does look demonic at times, and then flanked on the other side by three innocent blondes that don't look so innocent at times, I knew that that juxtaposition would carry me closer to the message which I was trying to bring across. Which, Ooh, once again, on, coexistence. Coexistence. Yes, coexistence. I'd like to regard Kid Creole and the Coconuts as a, a manifestation, if you will, of a coexistence of different cultures. Uh, there's coexistence here, not only in races, as you see black and white, uh, but in sexes as well, male and female coexisting together. And sometimes that is much more difficult than the other. I knew you, what happened? 